Hey Aquarius, um, I am Justina, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm back with another reading. This is for your reading for July 2021. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? And if my reading resonates with your situation, um, you know, just feel free to show your girl some love and donate to my channel. So Aquarius, what I have for you, I have the Two of Pentacles, I have the Ten of Cups, I have the Wheel of Fortune, oh my bad y'all, I meant to say I have the Ten of Cups in reverse, so this came out in reverse, I have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and I have the Two of Cups in reverse. Aquarius, what's going on with y'all? So for the additional messages, I have the Runner. I have the oh, I have the Boat. I have Seduction. I have the butterfly and I have the sword in the rose. Um so Aquarius. I don't know what y'all got going on, but I feel like your love life fucking sucks right now for July. Um I have the two of pentacles out here. I feel like at one point of time, you were focused on yourself. You was focused on, you know, self-improvement. Just getting your shit together. You was focusing on yourself, focusing on your finances. Balancing out work life, home life. Balancing out your work life, social life. But... I feel like whoever you are dealing with, Aquarius... This person, I feel like you thought you was going to have, like, this happy home with this person. It could be a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a water sign, an earth sign. But it doesn't have to be those signs. But that's what I see. I feel like you thought you was going to have a happy home with this person. But that shit was a lie. I feel like this person wasn't what you thought this person this person was or maybe this person wasn't your type. Whatever the case was, you definitely don't see this person um in your future or being in your future like you thought this person you thought she was going to have like a a long-term commitment with this person, but the lie to take the test determines that was a lie, okay? So, I feel like once the truth was revealed, or once you got some clarity, I feel like spirit provided an opportunity for you to start over. Like to close this chapter. But I feel that. I feel like this failed relationship. Is a distraction to you. But I feel like by spirit providing. Like this whole new. Chapter in your life. It's like you're not taking heed into this new chapter. I feel like you're distracted. You're not focused. And I feel like you're distracted. You're not focused. Because of this failed relationship you thought you was going to have long term with this person. 
I feel like that's fucking with you right now, Aquarius. Like you really felt like this person was the one. Another message I'm getting, I'm getting that Aquarius, you could have met somebody. Like after this failed relationship, the person that you thought you was going to spend the rest of your life with and build a happy home with. I feel like spirit provided an opportunity for you to move on from this situation. And you could have met somebody. But I feel like the person you met, they full of shit too. Or another message I'm getting, I'm getting that you actually met somebody, you met somebody else, but it's like you're projecting what this last person did to you onto this new person you met. And that's why you don't have the two of cups with this new person you met, because I feel like you... I feel like you're still living in the past. As in, okay, you know, my ex did such and such and such to me. And I feel like now you're thinking this person is like your ex. And this is why y'all can't have the two of cups. That's another message I'm getting. Another message I'm getting, this per this new person you actually met, this person could be full of shit too. So that's why y'all not in this two of cups energy. So, Aquarius, it say the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So, for some reason, I'm feeling like you fear, you could fear intimacy with this new person because of what happened with this old person. And that's why your relationship not moving forward with this old person. I'm getting that this past person, it could be like your baby mama or your baby daddy. Or it could be, be um, like the same sex couple or same sex couple. Then I have both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So I feel like whatever transpired with this person you thought you was going to spend the rest of your life with, this person you thought you was going to build a family with, I feel like something was revealed to you to where you moved on. I feel like mental, physically you moved on, but mentally you didn't. I'm, another message I'm getting, it's a lesson you're not learning. That's why you keep going through this same cycle. I feel like spirit is, you know, providing you a whole new chapter, a whole new start. But I feel like you having closure issues. Like I said, physically you moved on, but your mind is still on. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe... My baby mama, my baby daddy did what they did to me. And it's like you're still carrying on that old energy to this new person. And that's why y'all don't have the two of cups. I mean, y'all have the two of cups, but it came out in reverse. So with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like... Seduction, 
attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, third party interference. So I feel like um, Aquarius, this person could have cheated on you. This past person, the person you thought you was going to have a family with, this person could have cheated on you and everything. And I feel like you, it's like you projecting that behavior to the, this new person you're with. But it came out with the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like, like I said, Spirit provided like a whole new opportunity for you to start back dating again. For you to start, you know, meeting people, hooking up with different people, flirting, dating. But for some reason... It's like you not, it's like you not getting what you're looking for, but I feel like the reason why you're not getting what you're looking for because it has something to do with you. It's a butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. I feel like you have some healing to do from what this past person did to you. You got some shit to work on. That's why it's kind of hard for you to date and meet other people. Because it's like your mind is still stuck in the past even though your body is in the, the present. And then I have the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, reevaluation, protection, power, honor. So I feel like you got your guards up against this new person. It could be an earth sign or a water sign, but it doesn't have to be those two. I feel like you got your guards up. And that's why th these cards are in reverse because it's like you're not letting love. Or you're not letting this new beginning come into your life. This card say protection, power, honor, clarity, truth, reevaluation. Yeah, I feel like you got your guards up. And by you having your guards up, it's kind of difficult for you to connect with other people the thing is you want to connect with other people you want to move on but the way you're doing you it's like you're going about it the wrong way because it's like your defense mechanism is actually pu pushing this particular person that you're with it's like it's pushing them away or hell the person that you wanted to build a family with, this is another message. The person that you wanted to build a family with, the person, you, your baby mama, your baby daddy, whatever, your defense mechanism could have pushed them away too. But I'm here to tell you, Aquarius, everybody's not the same. And I used to think, like, everybody's the same. Everybody full of shit. But it's like, if you going around with having that mindset, you're going to manifest that into your reality. So, you're going to continue to attract people that's not shit or you're going to... That energy is going to rub off onto the next person. So, you're going to continue to see the same shit over and over and over again. You're going to continue to be in that same cycle. But once you change your mindset to where you know what i'm not gonna let one fool ruin my love life or i'm not gonna let people you know um take over my love life and how i view things and it's like once you go into these new situationships with an open heart with an open mind you could see different results 
not you could, but you will see different results because it's like you you shifted your whole mindset to like a whole new way of thinking, to a positive way of thinking. But by you having this negative mindset, you need to keep your guards up and that's preventing you from connecting with people. It's still going to be the same shit over and over and over again, Aquarius. Yeah, it's some bad people out there, but everybody is not like that. But that's all I have for this video, Aquarius. Thank you. Bye-bye.